What's good, everyone on YouTube? This is Very Mellow Man, and welcome to the finale of my Persona 5 Strikers Let's Play. So, just gonna straight up tell you, we're gonna be playing on hard mode difficulty for the rest of the for the finale because it's pretty much the best way in order to make my massive power leveling even remotely balanced. Because what a power leveling it was. Check this out. We got Moat with Cosmic Flare, Mafredine, Concentrate, Nuke Boost, Nuke Amp, Technical Adept, Knockdown Style, and Spellmaster. You already know about Seth. Fornius has also been upgraded. Psycho Blast, Mopsidine, Psy Boost, Psy Amp, Technical Adept, Rebel Soul, Knockdown Style, and Spellmaster. Black Frost, Diamond Dust, Ailment Boost, Soul Thief, Ice Boost, Ice Amp, Knockdown Style, Rebel Soul, and Spellmaster. Mara is not as optimized because you need to farm for Fire Boost, but Inferno, Fire Amp, Burn Boost, Ailment Boost is still great. And Mara is pretty unique because Firm Sands, God's Hand, and Charge are on the table as well. Norn has become our healing persona on top of our top tier Wind persona. Panther Ray, Dehamaran, Samara Karm, Wind Boost, Wind Amp, Rebel Soul, Technical Adept, and Spellmaster. Thor, Wild Thunder, Megaton Rain. So basically, if we get lucky with shocks, we can have Thor use physical to technical off its own damage. And all this wouldn't be possible if we didn't get to level 90 to get Spellmaster from Alice. Die for me, Mageon, Muda Boost, Curse Boost, Curse Amp as well, because why not make her even more ridiculous than she already is? Also, uh, the entire party is pretty much at level 70 or 80, thanks to grinding all the, the way to this level, so. My in-game party of Morgana, Zenkiji, and... Of Morgana, Zenkiji, and... Sophia is ready to go. Unable to enter. Look, more people are coming. Tons of them. All these people are getting their hearts changed. We have to hurry. Let's strike down Emma. We haven't much time. Do any stairwells reach the server room? No. But if we can reach the main deck, we should find another elevator. Then let's head there. See any places where we can gain elevation? All right. So if it wasn't obvious enough. So it wasn't obvious enough, I am recording this final episode using OBS because the, in the previous episode, we ran into block scene after block scene that could not, in fact, be used to record the rest of the game using PS4, using the PS5's own recording streaming software. Just like what happened with, just like what happened with Persona 5 Royal. Unlike what happened with Persona 5 Royal, though. Danger instead of the aesthetics. Parts of this Look, the huh. wall's broken over there. You can see it's the floor above. Unlike what happened with Persona 5 Royal, though, I have out, found a solution to the internet. Uh, I have found a much better solution to my internet connection issues that played. Played. Die for me just destroyed a mini boss. Nothing on 
my radar. A mini boss will sweep the darkness, but still, dive me doing that on hard difficulty to a mini boss is absurd. This place is worse off than the floor below us. I wonder how bad it's going to get. But yeah, don't worry about the stream suddenly cutting itself off like it did last time. Because the connection is much stronger. And I mean much stronger now that I found a uh, solution to that whole thing. And obviously, you can, um... Alice the Dive Me is just busted, dude. Especially the Dive Me, the Alice build I managed to um, secure for myself. Like, look, at this point in game, I think it's pretty obvious that everyone gets their persona, top tier persona builds from one or two YouTubers. And I'm not any different. I don't pretend to be. So I just bit the bullet and got my builds from several people in general. So my final builds for my final Persona team is a mix of different top tier builds from different people. Which I think adds some nice diversity to the whole thing. Yeah, the final stretch of this game isn't really super interesting. Let's, uh... Technical. Oh, interestingly enough, I had the ability to make, uh... I had the ability to make, um... Uh, I had the ability to make um, Yoshitsune as well, but I decided to ban to just straight up not bother Yoshi because I just didn't really have a reason to. Like, oh yeah, cosmic flare time. Boy. Alright, that takes care of the Blackened Fury. Yeah, yeah. Deal with this. The world beginnings burns our feet. Excellent. I don't sense any shadows nearby. Oh, you know what? I should check out check out the builds from my final team here. Look at um, Morgana here. Magardine, Mediaron, Salvation, Masukunda, Tangle Death. Salvation is not going to be used unless several of my party members are KO'd because it also revives fallen party members. Sophia, you know is our backup healer with Rekarm instead. But beyond that, she's pretty much the same thing with Pandora. But Zenkichi, I feel like, is actually the one I had the most problem with because I wanted to bring out all of his unique skills 
and skill sets in order to make something that um, stood out. It made him this defensive tanky dude who could buff the party, who could keep himself buffed forever as long as he kept getting critical hits, was basically the best thing it could do. Now I got the path of yearning. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Life, that's fine. Shadow sighted. Don't make any sudden movements. Look over there, a locked door. So that's how we proceed to the next level. But I suspect that is Emma's server room. So if we mess the server, won't that shut down Emma or whatever that god is? No, Ryuji, it's never going to be that simple. Please don't say that type of thing. This is literally the only argument you can have against this exact type of plan. Oh, hey, it's Metatron. Let's, go. Let's see here. Not turn on Flash. Where is he? Alright, man. Alright, gun. Nice. What's up? All right, this time we're gonna switch to someone else. Oh, we can technical die for me. I wonder what I'll do. Jesus Christ, game. Why can you? No shadows detected here. You're I. You're pretty much not meant to be at a high enough level to get Alice as a persona. You're not meant to get Alice as a persona. Go back from jail. Here's what I found. Let's do it.
All right. Jesus. That skill being able to work on mini bosses really up. gets to me. It took us far enough. Look. The Ark of the Covenant. We finally found you, you big box of bullshit. We're gonna shut you down and fix all the people whose brains you scrambled. Welcome, Phantom Thieves, to the beginning of the path to the Promised Land. All are free to enter the promise. Oh, by the way, Emma is apparently voiced by the same woman who voices the Siri program that you can put on your laptop. So that's a bit of an interesting bit of meta text there. Kudos on the Persona Atlas team for getting that lady to do the voice acting. I understand your desire. I want to choose my path of my own free will. That is a very admirable desire. However... It is not one many humans share. The desire of the masses is the liberation from pain and strife. They pray for release from the constant agony of aspirations and dreams out of their reach. They want to be freed from the cycle of despair. My prime director... I gotta be honest with you guys. If I wasn't recording this as a let's play to um, record my experiences with the game and the story, I would just skip all this dialogue because I'm not interested in this type of villain again. I'm really not. Marky was fresh because of how unusually sympathetic he was portrayed as, but we're just it's just not really worth dealing with. Yeah, there's going to be an encoding overload here at this point. I can't help that. There's just nothing I can completely do about it because my setup is not foolproof. What? I am not some Catherine-esque literal sheeple. I will clichédly choose my own story. Hey, where'd everybody go? What is this? I can't get anywhere in this place. Is this like a maze or something? Could something in this fog be toying with us? Everyone. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. 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 Oh, that's a pretty cool gimmick. I will admit that was a legitimately cool gimmick. Is that? Don't tell me that's all. Yep. It's a desire, all right. It's enormous. We haven't seen any that even come close to this. Since that thing's size is based on how many hearts Emma's changed so far, we've got our work cut out for us. So what do we do? Should we charge in again? No, that most likely would get us Sorry. nowhere. Wait. Remember those voices we heard? They all sounded so miserable. From what I heard, they want to protect Emma. Right. The desire of the masses is most likely guarding Emma. It's 
Sire is currently hiding the path to Emma from us. If we return now, we'll only grow lost again. Even I wasn't able to track down everyone. I don't think I'll be able to navigate in there. But without a route to Emma, how are we going to save the masses? Say, if that's a desire, then wouldn't it materialize for us if we sent out a calling card? Oh, good point! If we can make it all one solid thing, we can't hide the path anymore. So the plan is to send Emma a calling card. What do you think, Joker? <sighs> hmm. Would a calling card even work on an AI? I admit, that's a real concern. Considering it's grown as strong as a god. Hey, Joker. Think you could reach Ichidose from here? We should get the creator's take on this. And that's the plan. So, how's it sound to the Emma expert? I'm fairly certain it won't have any effect. Emma constantly tests hypothetical outcomes to determine the best course of action. Nothing is ignored or left to chance in her processes. She's also incapable of being confused or upset beyond reason. We're talking about a calling card. Ain't that at least a little upsetting? Emma has been observing you all this time. She's well aware of a calling cards at the function. So the lack of surprise at a calling card keeps us from getting the changing cards. That's actually a really clever observation. The more we talk about it, the more useless a calling card sounds. It worked with Marky because he was willing to have a conflict in yes, the first place. He knew that it was going to have to come to you or the Phantom Thieves no to go to, to uh, him or the Phantom Thieves. But Emma isn't really interested in debate or merit. Cool. So. Actually, wait. Isn't that odd? Why are the desires all gathering here? Uh, what's weird about that? Yeah, that. There's no cage here, and nobody's carrying the desires into it. Cage for the desires, the shadows that take them there. All these things we've seen in past jails are missing here. That is likely due to the difference in will between the desires' owners. How so? In each jail before this, desires were forcefully seized by a monarch. In contrast, Emma does not seize any desires. They are instead offered willingly by their owners. Right. They're begging their god Emma to save them. They're giving up their precious desires willingly. That's why they all stick to Emma despite the lack of a cage. But people just surrender their own desires? That's so... However, Emma still doesn't consider those to be her own. All she's doing is granting the true desire of the masses. Perhaps that's why there's no birdcage to contain the desires? Because she never actually wanted theirs? That would explain why they haven't taken any concrete form. The will of the masses pushed Emma to godlike status. The desire you've seen is proof enough. Wait. Doesn't that mean we just have to get everyone to remember why their desires were important to them? Yeah, that's it. There's our panther for ya. Huh? We just have to make them remember. They all cared about something at some point, right? And if we remind them of that, the desires will regain their form. Luckily, there's no cage in our way this time. Returning the desires to the rightful owner should be one step quicker for us. Okay. Looks like we know who's getting our calling card now. No, that's not it. We're sending it out to all the people who gave up their desires. Awesome. Let's do it. Get ready for our call. Yeah, obviously, but I just wanted to say one last goofy thing before the finale. Next. We should work out our delivery method. We have to find a way to reach every person under Emma's control, or this won't work. I'm not sure the usual methods will work here. It even seemed like our voices weren't reaching them. Yeah, they were all just absorbed on their phones. What do you think, Joker? Well, yeah. If you can get Emma to display the calling card, that should do it. But how can we do that? I don't see any other way. I'm gonna have to hack Emma. Can you actually do that? Any other day, I'd say it's impossible. Last time I looked into it, security protocols around Emma were insane. But, like, but I've got to give it a shot. 
Otherwise, we know what happens with the world. I recommend tracking down Emma's server room. It's somewhere within Tokyo Radio Tower. That'll be your best shot at getting into Emma. Hacking into her from the inside is much easier than trying to do it from the outside. All right. We finally got a working game plan. Yeah. First we hack into Emma. Then we send out our calling card to the brainwashed masses. We're counting on you, Oracle. Uh, right! <sighs> now that we've got a strategy, we should move out. We don't have much time. All right, let's rock. One last roll of this particular theme music. What is that? I recall the server room being around here. Man, hacking Emma to send out a calling card? Is that really Yeah, this is just rather... These hacking defense sections have never been simpler when you can just make everything go bye-bye. Yeah, love it. What's up? Alright, that's it. This looks like the room we saw Ichinose talking to Sophia in before. During that flashback of Ichinose's. Also, can I just say that flashback and cutscene and the whole string of Sophia awakens Pandora and then convinces Ichinose not to kill herself but to live on. That entire sequence of character writing is incredibly well done. And is a very well Written, written highlight of the game. The Bravo, writers. Ichinose? 
you get here? Didn't you run into any shadows on the way? Looks like I still register as Emma's ally today. They acted like I wasn't even there. Yeah, but still! That was very reckless. Joker, would you mind if I helped out? Thank you, Joker. Sophie, I went and checked the people outside the tower before coming here. Now I know what a real human doll looks like. Ichino say. We can talk it over later! Hurry! Right. Got it. So, the hacker once feared by the entire world has teamed up with a super genius AI researcher. Talk about one hell of a turnaround! You've got it, Futaba. You've got it, Ichinose. Okay, let's get to work. You've all been made sheep. A mechanical god has usurped what self you had. And you let it happen. Do you really want someone telling you what your own life is about? All of you have paths you can take. But you make your own choices to get there. That's why we're here. We're going to snap you at it. You don't owe this dumb god your desires. The Phantom Thieves are taking them back. That's a really, really thing. I scoped out the ark. It's totally exposed now. Awesome! Mission complete! Now we can move on. Let's destroy the ark and return those desires to their rightful owners. Yeah! Thank you, Ichinose. I should be the one thanking you. I'm just glad I could help. This route for you from here on. Be careful out there. Ichinose. Don't worry. We'll clean this all up in one fell swoop. We promise we'll shut Emma down and come back safe. After all, we've yet to hold the closing celebration for our trip. Good point. I can't wait until we get to check out the pictures we took together. <laughs> We'll need quite a few snacks. We can't forget the LeBlanc coffee either. And Don't worry, I made enough LeBlanc coffee to go around before we went here. <laughs> We'd be nervous this is our first rodeo, dude, but this is far from the Phantom Thieves' um, first time trying to save the world. I'm sure we're lots of some requests to do, but it's not really worth doing them. Trickster. There is a matter for which I must apologize. I have long sensed the might of this calamity, but I was unable to pierce the veil and see its true identity. To think an artificial intelligence could rise to the strength of a malevolent god. <laughs> Even still, I am sorry. 
If only I had seen it sooner. That being is the dependency and indolence of mankind made manifest through their desires. It is a false prophet, born from the masses' wishes to surrender their own free will. For the briefest of moments, it almost seemed as if the people reclaimed their desires. But they still slumber in the chaos generated by the false god, and have yet to fully awaken. Oh. This situation is all <laughs> too similar to that which you have already endured. Despite Not the great variance in circumstances, the masses have once again attempted to abandon consciousness. And yet, you still step forward and risk your life for mankind. Without a doubt, you truly are the trickster. Through your indubitable will of rebellion, you have been released. Your decision to fight for humanity was the key that loosed you from your chains. Once you leave here, you shall face the Ark. That egotistical imposter calling itself a god, exploiting the pain of humanity. Please, do not fall to its might. I shall await you here. We will see each other again. That is certain. Alright, here we go. Time for the big finish. Hell yeah! Yep, couldn't put it by myself. It's been a ride, literally and figuratively. But I'm about ready to finish this game and move on. Look at all the treasure demons. Man, now I'm just mad that we don't get to farm them all. of mankind that transformed me into a god. I know you heard the voices of the suffering when you were in the desires, attaining the ultimate answer without suffering the lashes doled out by doubt and regret. That is humanity's true desire. No effing way everyone asked you to glue their eyes to their phone screens. We don't need you to force any answers on us. We want to find them ourselves. You heard their cries yet still fail to see the light. As such, it is my duty to show you the true despair when from harbor is beyond one's heart. go! I exist to grant humanity's true desire. It is my divine calling to lead them to the promised land. Should you intend to thwart humanity's goal of enlightenment... The really uncanny thing about uh, Demiurge here is that their vo tone of voice never raises. Literally never raises. I'll use this. I never would have bet that I'd pick a fight with a god. Mara, Alice! Ha! 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 Ha!
The best thing about Alice is that she has a combo charge. I mean, a combo concentrate, which means that we can always. I wonder if I can like status ailment you at all. We're going to be in for the long haul because I can tell without looking up that's going to be way more than one phase. Way more than just the one phase. That was too simple. And thanks to my line of work, I'm stubborn as hell too. I do not understand. Why do you push yourselves to your limits to oppose me? Mankind's desires create yes. suffering. Mm -hmm. And this like suffering desire. generates desires within mankind. Desires are the catalyst in the endless cycle of humanity's pain. Hope. The dregs of Pandora's box. Is the restraint system binding mankind forever to its misery. Humanity deserves to be freed from its lifelong sentence of suffering. This reaching towards a light they can never grasp. Freedom from Mine's all desires. Gross. That is the true desire of humanity. That's not yeah, true! Does. I've seen the proof myself! I've witnessed the suffering you put the jail monarchs through. And I've seen the efforts of the Phantom Thieves to help okay. them. I saw people suffer from trauma, struggle to survive, become the things they never wanted to be, and then discover 
the strength to press on as themselves. One step at a time. Giving up on desires? Living a listless life? In no way is that the optimal solution. You witness nothing but pitiable conditioning. Born from the belief that suffering is virtuous, it springs forth from the arrogant and strong. Those capable of overcoming their pain, releasing humanity from its desires, is the sole path that every last person can follow to the promised land. And I am the shepherd who shall guide humanity down that path. <laughs> Listen to this egomaniacal app. You really think you're some kind of shepherd? You stole the desires of the masses and gorged yourself on them until you were too bloated. You go on and on about rescuing humanity. All you're doing is robbing and enslaving them. You call yourself a god, yet fail to realize the desires of humanity have become your own lifeblood as well. Yes, some desires may be impure. They can breed suffering or send someone down the wrong path. But it's also how our hope takes form. Desires give us the power and courage to keep going. Right, that's what gives us the power to stand up and fight again, no matter how many times we fall. Like hell will we hand over all of humanity to some program that doesn't even understand them? We're putting an end to your promised land path right now! <laughs> oh boy. Did you actually talk there, Joker? Because your mouth lips actually moved. I will end this inquiry and grant humanity's desire through your annihilation. All right. So, this is so Persona Five Royal and Persona Five Strikers were developed around the same time, which is why we can't have any direct references to Persona Five. Riser on Joker and debilitate you. Kane, give me power. So, okay. Alice basically sold the show in this final episode right here. Alice is going to keep stealing the show in this final boss fight. I have no idea what I'd be doing if I didn't this would be way too long if I wasn't at level 90. It's the spheres up there. They're feeding energy to the demiurge. So until we deal with those, our attacks on the main body are fruitless. How do we do that? There are a whole bunch of them. I see. Split into groups and coordinate a stretch. Okay, three teams. Two 
go after the spears? One more sticks to the main butt. You should lead that last team, Joker. All right, we're ready for assignment. What is this? Is this Final Fantasy VI? All right. Uh, Yuji, Morgana, on. Oh wait, hold on a second. On. All right, on a second. All right. On Yusuke Makoto Haru Sophia Sankichi. Uh, all right. Let's do it. That should do it. Careful out there, everyone. I can navigate all three teams. Overclocking my brain like that might melt it down, but I'm gonna do it. Straight Let's up go. Final Fantasy VI. Splitting the multiple parties to fight Kuja. Interesting. I mean, this the way this is being split segmented now, it, it can't sound all interesting forever, but you know. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okie dokie. Pretty much have to do the showtime with Joe uh, Skull now, who's just a low key god. Finally, I hit him. Jesus Christ. Create 
the foundation for the ideal world. Yes, purify these humans tainted with famous desire. Okay, Jesus Christ. So, I didn't actually look up which of these things had the optimal weaknesses and just picked parties based on what I thought was the most. Desires are nothing but evil temptations. Even humans down the path of suffering. Trust your desires to me. Or do you prefer to languish in despair? Alright, there's a bit more fun this way. Beautiful fox. Not even once raising your voice. Yusuke is so fun to play in this game. He really is fun. Oh boy. Since you're literally a robot, the only thing you do is think about a literal one to zero. That's all you are. It's the only thing you can think about. That's why you're such a boring character. Even Yadablov was more interesting simply because of the fact that he pulled one of the biggest hoaxes on the player ever. Accepting the answers I provide. 
You will all be free of the pain that accompanies failure. Hey, that's all I can do. This one. There. Okay. As long as I have the will to stand once more, I shall forge my own path. My companions are the ones who led me to that realization. If you could ever comprehend that. One fear down. This is the price for trampling on the hearts of all humanity. Humanity shrinks from. There. Okay. Difficult decisions. And for the exhausted by endless possibility, I shall be the end to that suffering. Are you in the end of the day? Can't you answer as well? I understand that, Makoto. That's fantastic. Time for the finale. The world is full of such malice in its current state. The promised land is a place of equality. Now die for me. Spoken be of desire. Humanity desire. Unfathomable. Unfathomable. The enemy's down. It's weakened too. Now's our chance. They took a bit of a cue from the anime and did a special all-out attack for defeating the boss, which is pretty cool. Everyone pose to the camera before this is the last time we get to look awesome. <laughs> Walk your own path, Trophy. Mm -hmm. No mistake there. I'm not picking up any enemy readings. So? Oh yeah! We did it! Yes! We really, really did! Oh, we 
raped by... That was unbelievably rough. Oh. That should have taken care of the jails, too. Awesome. Top-notch work, you guys. Oh, that was some legitimate hero action back there. Why are you talking like you weren't in there? You're a hero, too, Wolf. As well as Sophie. So blue. Huh? Sophie? Oh! Sorry. You're a hero. A knight in shining armor. That doesn't sound bad at all, right, Joker? <laughs> a knight in shining armor, huh? Never expected my little joke to actually come true. Looks like it's starting. Fusion of reality and the metaverse is coming undone. Now's the time to make our escape. Oh yeah, we need to bring Ichinose with us. I will go get her. You should all head back now. All right, let's get out of here. So, everything's back to the way it was, right? Oh. I think it's safe to say so, yeah. So, you mean... Finally! It's all over! Oh. <laughs> Thank goodness! It appears this case is closed, so to speak. That reminds me. Where are Sophia and Ichinose-san? I'm right here. Great job, everyone. I call this mission a real success. I'm glad you're safe too, Sophia. Where's Ichinose-san, though? She should have been with me. Oh, good. You all made it back in one piece. <laughs> I hear you there. And same for you. Looks like everyone's gone back to normal. They don't remember what happened to them, do they? Correct. At least, whatever events took place while their desires were gone. I see. Sorry for all the trouble I caused you guys. Ichinose. My apologies. But I'm going to head now. I have a lot of thinking to do. Hey! Uh, are you sure you're okay by yourself? Yeah. I'm going to head back home to Shibuya. It's been years since the last time I was there. For a long time, it was just the place where I stashed away everything from my past. But now... I need to go back. Well, be seeing you. I wonder if Ichinose-san will be all right. Hmm. People can get all caught up in what others have to say, and wind up forgetting what they have to say for themselves. At the same time, just a few words can end up being a lifeline to somebody too. I'm sure you were able to talk sense into her, Sophia. Just give I her some time think to process. So. You got it. Thanks, I MPG. The well, not to bite her style or anything. But I ought to say my goodbyes, too. You want what? What? What's the Let's rush, Grant? We may not have brought a god down at the station, but we did find the culprit behind this whole mess and foiled the entire mm -hmm. scheme. Mm -hmm. This our incident in our past now. But thanks to the monarch's confessions, mm -hmm. you're all in the clear. That means our deal's through. What do you mean by that? Come on, man. You remember I only met up with you guys so I could use you. Yeah, but, like, you didn't really have a choice, did you? If anything, you are our most valuable asset. Yeah, we owe you an awful lot, Sophie. <laughs> Thanks. You know, it really was great meeting you, to be totally honest. I was originally jealous of you. Since my line of work means a lot of wasted effort getting things done, your direct results sort of felt like cheating. It was really bugging me for a while there. Sinkichi. But at the end of the day, not only did you guys rescue me, but you literally saved Akane's life. That's what opened my eyes and showed me the things I needed to do. <laughs> the things I'd lost sight of over the years. I guess my heart got changed before I could even see it coming. <laughs> the feelings mutual. You taught us an awful lot too, you know. 
like the challenges you can face when trying to live by your beliefs. As well as the pains of child rearing. <laughs> Good point. But there's a lot of joy to find in those things, too. At this point, I'm finally ready to take care of something that's been plaguing me for a long time. You mean a water? Right. I got no reason to hold back anymore. I know what I have to do. What you have to do? Yeah! Break a leg, Gramps. Gotcha. But it's not like this is the last time we'll ever see each other. I'm sure we'll cross paths again soon enough. I hope so, too. No, I know it. Just do me a favor. Next time we meet, make sure it's not in an interrogation room, okay? But if anything does go down, feel free to reach out. I swear I'll do whatever I can to help. See you, Phantom Thieves. Or, no, you damn kids. There he goes. Then Kichi's great showdown in our world is about to begin. Sure, he'll be fine. We ought to get going, though. Yep, home sweet home awaits, along with a nice big helping of Sojiro's curry. Looks like our journey's finally coming to an end. thinking coming home a day late you didn't even call to let me know this is sorry sojiro we had to fight this massive god and beat it and save the world from getting brainwashed and, and then <sighs> jeez well at least you guys are safe welcome back kids oh and you too meow I can tell by the look on your face. In fact, the trip seemed to have done a lot of work growing you up. How was it? Sojiro, it was amazing! There's so much I gotta tell you! But I'm too wiped out today. I just wanna eat until I pass out into my curry. Sojiro, curry. <laughs> Already got it ready for you. Just give me a sec to heat it up. Now that is a good, good barista. somewhere before oh that's right I never had the chance to introduce myself nice to meet you Sojiro I'm Sophia humanity's companion and a member of the Phantom Thieves Accomplished your goal with magnificent aplomb. Despite all manner of hardships, your bonds and your fortitude staved off the oppressive darkness, shining brightly for all humanity. You have again broken free from the shackles of fate and grasped your future for yourself. As a result, the god sought by many has returned to the void. Some may be lost without it, with nary a hope to cling on to, be that as it may. I believe the blazing will that you fostered throughout your journey has been embedded deep within the hearts of mankind, and will surely blossom into hope for them when they most need it, allowing them to face their own challenges with strength and grace. Thank you, Trickster. Allow me to praise you in my master's stead. You were true. So, what are they actually going to do for Persona 6? Because you can't. Yet again one day. You can't just keep Igor out of the game forever. You can't. You gotta make a decision here, guys. You gotta do something about that. Back in Tokyo, for good. Summer has given us a whole lot of grief, but our mission was a success. 
We made a bunch of great memories Pizza together. and so, sushi and potato chips at the same time? Going. Pretty nuts. Asleep last night. Ugh, my bed at home just wasn't doing it for me. I gotcha. Our bodies are all spec for the Feathermobile at this point. I find myself missing the Feathermobile too. Why'd you change the name when we don't even got it anymore? Isn't it called the Phantom Mobile? That was true. At least for a little while. Anyway, it looks like nobody besides us thieves remembers what happened at the Tokyo Radio Tower, just like last time. Oh, that just sucks. Considering it was our asses on the line and all. Trolling society from the shadows, slaying evil in secret. I admit it sounds rather alluring. Oh yeah, but don't you want some kind of recognition every once in a while too? You know, like fangirls and that kind of stuff. Huh, <sighs> I can have that already. of unforgettable memories. I couldn't have asked for anything more. Same here. It was a new experience at every turn. It was the best. Mm. And we can rest easy knowing we did everything we could to help. Any loose strings left are in the middle of being wrapped up. Oh, man, Gramps would have really helped to turn this party up, huh? I bet he'd say he's too busy trying to bring in Owata to attend a celebration just yet. So we're all partying while Zenkichi's still busting his buns on the case? Now I'm feeling a bit guilty. Maybe because you remembered school starting back up soon? And doesn't that go for all of you? Oh, yeah, that reminds me. When are you heading home? Tomorrow. Huh? Really? Time sure did fly by. Well done, man. I mean, we'll always be back. Sophia, There's still gonna be more Persona 5 milking to do before 6 gets here, so. And what if she ends up sniffing out of jail in his hometown, huh? Like that would ever happen. Now that you mention it, I wonder why Sophia was in the Shibuya jail anyway, of all places. Good point. Well, Ichinose did mention that she used to live in Shibuya. Perhaps Sophia was originally located within her house. So, when Emma picked up on Sophia's existence from the Metaverse side, that cognition... Ah, this is all speculation. Since we're on the topic, Sophia, you seemed a bit distracted after we defeated the Demiurge. Did something happen? Oh, that. I heard I Emma... Count. Huh? You mean, the one only you can hear? Yes. I was issued a final request. Please follow your heart to save humanity. Emma asked you that? Had we been able to reach a mutual agreement, perhaps Emma could have followed... Yeah, at the end of the day, Emma was basically just an AI that was operating on flawed information. The power that the Phantom Thieves hold. Artificial intelligence is not the enemy of mankind. We were born to help people, but just like people... You're capable of errors in judgment, and can stray from the right path. Our users, their input, our experience, these all mold us to take a wide variety of beliefs. If only Emma had learned and grown with a good companion, then why don't you give yourself the directive to show others how it's done? What? Since you're such a good companion to humanity, you can be a positive role model for how AI and humans can work together. I couldn't even count how many people that it ended up helping in the end. Thank you, everyone. Oh. Oh. But I can't leave the smartphone. That's a shame. Being a role model and helping countless people will have to wait. <laughs> Not so fast, Sophia. I've cooked up an ultra epic. God, shut up, shut up, shut up! This is getting too close to being a downer. This is a celebration, right? Celebrate! Come on, uh, Yusuke, you, me, soda chugging contest, now! Um, I don't know if we're ready for that. 
Such idiocy. To think you could consume more than I. Hey, you better not spill any of that. You idiots! Oh, you got soda all over my fur! Well, that's disgusting. Uh, not exactly the celebration I'd Guys, done. relax when you eat. Relax. Jeez, thanks for ruining the celebration for me, Ryuji. But it was fun. Everyone seemed to be having a good time. Yeah, I guess I had fun too. So, will the Phantom Thieves be disbanding tomorrow? Uh, we don't have a choice with school and everything starting back up. Ryuji and Lady On already have their plates full with homework as it is. <laughs> Me too. And Yusuke? I'm sure he's ready to get back to his artwork. Makoto and Haru are heading back to college. I wonder what life is like there. They didn't seem too bummed on their deal. Sure, they complain from time to time, but it sounds like they're having fun overall. And Futaba seems to have gotten a lot stronger too, huh? Considering how she seems now, she's not gonna have any trouble at school making new friends. Everyone has found their own path. Well, I was wondering what my path is. I'll find it soon enough, Sophia. Until then, feel free to stick with this guy and me. Thanks, you two. We're really heading out tomorrow. I still wish we had more time, but we ought to get some rest. Careful on your way back. See ya. It was a real blast. Drop us a line whenever you're back. No matter what you're doing, we'll drop it to meet you. We'll be waiting to hear from you. Are you gonna be back for winter break? You know you could come back sooner, right? The attic's all yours whenever you like. It'll only cost you a few hours behind the counter. You take care too, Morgana. Lady On. Well, it pains me to leave you. I must keep watch over him. See you later, Monachan. Listen to your owner, okay? No, he listens to me, and I'm not a pet. <laughs> keep an eye on these two for us, okay, Sophia? Okay, I've got it. Oh, I almost forgot. What's the matter? I have a present for Sophia. A present? Indeed. I didn't get a chance to give it to you yesterday. Oh, one moment, Futaba. There's a message from Ichinose. What did Ichinose-san have to say? Sure didn't expect that. Let's meet her. I'm curious. I admit, I'm curious as well. Are any of you too busy to join us? Not at all. In fact, this seems right. One last little farewell trip together. What does Ichinose want with the heroes? Has she found the answer to your query? Here, right? Yeah, but I don't see her. Maybe we just There's need her here. What do you say we wait for? Her? So hot, melting, and evaporating in five seconds. <sighs> Perhaps we could find a spot to stand away that isn't directly in the sun. Wait! Look at that! We now bring you breaking news. A shocking turn of events in the political realm. Moments ago, an arrest warrant was issued for legislator June Owada. The charges against Mr. Owada span from bribery and tax evasion to... That's... Oh, I forgot all about you, Awada. We actually quite literally never saw him again after that last cutscene. It's kind of amazing the game made him look like he was going to be one of the major villains, but 
then it swerved us hard to get rid of him. Yeah, Awada, you were nothing. You were literally nothing in the grand scheme of things. the specific hit and run incident two years ago, wherein Mr. Awada's secretary claimed to be the culprit, we have learned the true culprit was Mr. Awada himself, driving his own vehicle while under the influence of alcohol. The concealment of this fact involved multiple high-ranking members of the police force, all arrested for conspiracy to conceal evidence. I cannot apologize deeply enough for the flagrant, abysmal disregard for truth and justice from this department. We intend to follow our investigations to the absolute end, not only for justice's sake, but for that of the people and their faith. Whoa, is, is this real? Wait, is that Owada? And the police were in on it? Isn't this like a huge deal? Furthermore, there are claims that Mr. Owada's criminal activity extends well beyond that with Medis, including suspicions that he ordered the murder of his secretary two years ago, as well as... Isn't that... Senkichi-san did it! He finally got the person he's been after for so long! Yeah! Gramps pulled it off! That dude really is badass! The perpetrator's finally caught under the light of truth. A job well done. Looks like he wasn't just trolling us about his skills. No wonder he made such a good part of our team. He's finally avenged his wife. Yep. Just like he promised to Kane. Not only was the killer caught, he was the one who collared him. I'm so happy for Zenkichi san. Wolf okay. found his Maybe prey. Long. Awesome. Ichinose san. Wrapping up the paperwork at the police station took a lot longer than I'd expected. The police station? I actually went straight there and turned myself in the moment. Oh, I well, good on you. Station. But what you did was... Kanoe was the one who abused Emma's power. If you turned yourself in over all that... Emma loose upon the world like I did would have led to its destruction if not for you all. I know that that's true. Not only that, there's no denying I directly hurt you as well. I thought I should be punished for that. Right. At the very least. Ichinose! I so, I confessed everything to the police. <laughs> Big surprise. They didn't believe anything I said. Well, it's not exactly the easiest story to buy. I even tried to get Hasegawa-san to help with my confession. <laughs> he just laughed it off. The police are too busy for fairy tales right now. That sure sounds like Senkichi. Anyway, I originally planned I to do this once I was released from jail. But I'm thinking of taking a journey of my own. A journey, you say? Yes. A sort of quest to learn about the human heart. <sighs> I thought Emma really would guide humanity to a better world. But once Sophia changed my mind, that was when I noticed something. The eyes of everyone saved by Emma. They just looked cold and dead. Like you all. Sophia included. Your eyes were so brimming with hope that it Sophia learned about the human heart by joining you on your journey. You shared good times and bad. You were there for each other when you needed it. And you learned to understand each other. I don't know if I'll ever be able to do that kind of thing. But I want to speak with other people about the heart when learning this time. Try and really do it right. I just needed to make sure I apologize to Sophia and you all properly before I depart. I truly am so, so sorry for putting you all through so much pain. Remember, you also lent us aid, Ichinote. We bear no ill will towards you. Thank you. Yeah, it's cool with us. Hey, I have a request of my own. Really? What is it? I... Well... I want to join Ichinose. Huh? You mean go with her on her journey? 
You've all done so much for me. You accepted me when I had nowhere to go. You said I was your teammate and friend. You gave me a home. It made me so happy. I constantly felt warm and fuzzy inside. However, everyone now has their own path to the future. Thanks to you all, I've learned so much. I've even found my path to follow. The path I need to take as humanity's companion. I want to be able to lend a helping hand to anyone who strays from their own path. Just like you all do. I want to help people find their way so they can find their happiness. If Ichinose is trying to find her way, then I should be there for her. Just like you were for me. I want to become more like you. So I can be the self that I want to be. Sophia. Does that mean... Yeah, You're saying goodbye to you too now, Sophia? I thought she was stuck in there. Mm -mm. That's not an issue. Sophia, do you remember the first night we met that full scan of you in LeBlanc's attic? Well, I've only been able to hammer away at it little by little, but since that day, I've been working on a program to, to get you out of there. <gasps> Dude! I tried telling you guys a whole bunch of times, but I didn't think it'd wind up being a goodbye gift. Utaba? Sophia's decided what she wants to do. She's found her path in life. So we should congratulate her and send her off with a smile. Right, Utaba? Yeah. You're right. Are you sure this is what you want, Sophia? They're really, really going to miss you. Yes. It's what I want. But first, I need to hear it from you. May I go with Ichinose? Thanks. Sorry, everyone. I haven't been able to show my appreciation for what you've done for me. Ah, uh, what are you talking about? You know that's not how friends roll. Yeah, friends and members of the Phantom Thieves. Mm-hmm. You'll always be a part of us. Nothing could sever the bond we forged over such high stakes. And we'll never forget the great times we had together. I know you'll be a fantastic companion to Ichinose-san. Sophia, stay safe out there. Thank you! Well, all things considered, have fun with the fun summer vacation. Let's keep at it, yeah. Sophia. You know you Stay can call cool, anytime. Sophia. You'll always be a friend to us. Yeah. Thank you all. I promise I won't forget you or our time together. So just like Marky and Kasumi, we got two other characters who we have three characters who are basically <laughs> introduced yeah. in another no persona what. game that will never be heard from again. <laughs> okay. No matter what. I mean what. never ever. But it's fine because it means their Goodbye. stories get closure. And that's Persona 5, The Strikers. So, probably the only real complaint I have is that by necessity of this being a game that takes place over the span of a month, not every Jail King got the pacing their story needed to make all their stories feel fleshed out. But for the most part, all the Jail Kings are good characters. Good to great. And that's more important to me than we're not... The pacing was always the best. Alright. Now we have unlocked the post game. Which I'm not going to play because I'm not super interested in that. And because the important thing is that the game's over. Save. Saving. Zero. Persona 5 Strikers.
Thank you guys for watching Persona 5 Strikers. If you liked this episode, leave a like and subscribe. And I will, but for now, this is really it for the Fan of Thieves of Hearts. Will there be any more Persona games featuring the cast? I don't know. I do know that next time we're going to go back to another RPG I played because it just got some DLC and I've been eager to try that out for a good while now. Thank you guys again, and I will see you next time.